yeah, he was just really bubbly, really excitable, really happy to be at uni, to be fair. And um, I just thought he was a really nice guy. On a Tuesday or a Wednesday, whenever we'd go out on a night out, I'd probably bump into him, him dancing on the dance floor, being all happy and jolly. So he, I would probably describe him as, as a person that would always make you feel a bit better when you left him. Um, so you'd see him and he'd always come up to you and say, oh, hey, Owen, how you doing? Um, check in with you, see how you're doing. Just see, that, see whether you've had a good night, if you're out, out on a night out. or He'd always be just really interested in what you had to say. He, he, was, he was a very unselfish person when it comes to that. He really liked to knew, know how you were doing. But then the problem is, in my head, is that it sort of made you question whether he was doing all right, because you'd obviously ask, are you okay? And he'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, that sort of thing. But obviously there was, there was little demons in his head that weren't okay, but he obviously just wouldn't tell anyone about it. He, he was literally always positive. I, I never saw him without a smile. Um, so when it obviously happened, I, at first, when they mentioned who it was, it really didn't click that it could be him um, until someone said, yeah, he was in Snow, he was the, I, think, I believe he was Vice President of Snow. And I was like, well, that's, that kind of, no, because that's, that's him, he's, he's in my class, he's always bubbly, but it was, literally, it took everyone, took everyone by, I don't know, it just caught everyone off guard. I think I probably saw him about four or five days before. I believe it was around Super Team's time. And um, I saw him during one of the events and just like his usual self, he came over, he gave me a high five and he was like, oh, how are you doing? Are your team doing well? That sort of thing. It was just general chit chat. There was, there was no inkling that there was anything wrong at all. Um, so it was sort of murmured in class on the morning of when it happened. And um, it was sort of going around that this, this person had taken their life, no one was 100% sure who it was. And then um, we started checking in and seeing whether there was anyone in the class that was missing. I remember going to lectures the next day and it was just deadly quiet, deadly quiet. Like the lecturer would obviously talk, ask questions, and usually like people tend, tend to respond in, in lectures, but not one person said anything that day. I think everyone was just sort of in shock. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things. It is, obviously he felt that he needed to do it, but it does affect everyone that knows that person. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not just them. Because there was no sign of this mental illness at all, he really didn't show it at all. That we, we didn't even we didn't even think that anything like that could happen to a person like that. 